but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Second and five now. Fields flushed out right. And he finds Montgomery complete. A first down and then some for Montgomery. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And this will be caught by Mooney. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Again, Fields escaping the pressure right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine. Touchdown, Bears! Tariq Cohen, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Bears have retaken the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. And he'll get into the end zone as the two point conversion is successful. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Now this is going to be returned from the back line of the end zone. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On second and seven. Lance, and that one not to be, it's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. The Niners on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seven. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. The 49ers now gonna use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. And they'll go for it. Lance. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Here's Lance to throw it. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Two yards, good enough for a first. From the gun, a run with Moster. And a good burst there, gets him seven up to midfield. Second down and three. Let's get 
Once again, it's Mostert. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. And I tell you, they didn't give it to him much through the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should touchdown for the Niners. Trey Sermon, 42 yards. And the Niners are a point away from leading this game. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They did a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Throwing on third down, Fields. Less than two minutes to play. Down to the wire we go in a one-point game. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. Eluding the pressure right. Robinson, a first down and then some. This is Robinson. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. taken down just shy of midfield. Darnell Mooney, the target there. And that'll bring up second down. A give, this is Montgomery. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. On the ground, it's Montgomery. The tackle by Eric Armstead. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Back to throw. That's complete to Mooney. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Fields on target to Mooney, first down Chicago. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage. If they do pop one, it's going to go Yeah, as I said, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. And off comes to Montgomery. And he will 
push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll run for it with Montgomery. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And his kick is indeed good. And with that, they will move ahead by two here in the fourth. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal? Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the 